In this video, I'm going to show you a program that validates EDI files in Excel. Here is the Excel program. And here are our folders where the EDI files will be moved. The inbound folder will contain the EDI files that we will be validating. The good folder is where EDI files that pass the validation will be moved. The bad folder is where the failed ones will go. The Ceph folder will contain the Ceph files. Now what are Ceph files? Ceph files are schemas that the EDI files will be validated against. So if you will be validating a code co EDI file, you would need a code co Ceph file you will be validating an ifmin d99b edi file you would need an ifmin d99b ceph file and so on so the program is going to validate the edi files against these ceph files and any discrepancies between them will be reported as errors let us now run the excel program To start the validation, click on the Validate button. OK, it's done. So the validation reported that the EDI file CodeCo passed having no errors, ifmin failed with one error, this is the error description, and ifsta passed with no errors. If we look at the folders, in the inbound folder, all the files have been moved to either the good or bad folder. In the bad folder, we see one file, which is the ifmin file. Just as reported by the program, it is the one that failed. In the good folder, we have codeco and ifsta, which are the files that passed. Now to get to the source code of the program, select Developer from the menu, then Design Mode. When you hover over the Validate button, the pointer should change to the Move pointer from the default. If it doesn't, then click on the Design Mode again. The Design Mode is a toggle that will change the mode of the button to execute or view the source code when you click on it. So here is the VBA source code. It is short and simple. However, it requires the EDI dev component that you have to reference. To reference it, select Tools, then find it in the reference list. This program already has it selected. Basically, the program declares an EDI document object, instantiates it, loads all the Ceph files, then goes through each EDI file in the inbound folder, loads it in the EDI document object, and iterates through each segment. At this point, the program is reading and validating the segments. At the end of the loop, the program checks for the error count. There are two levels of errors, warning errors and severe errors. Severe errors will basically stop the Freddy component from reading the EDI file any further and may even cause an exception error, while warnings errors are usually discrepancies between the EDI file and Ceph file or the EDI standard. So when there is a warnings count greater than zero, that means the EDI file has an error and has failed the validation. The error description can be obtained by calling the description property of the warning object. The file is then moved to the bad folder. Else. If the warning count is zero, then no errors were found. So the EDI file is moved to the good folder. And that's all to it. 
This validation program is simple because most of the validation work is done by the EDI Dev Framework EDI component.